Are you looking for abandoned properties over Japan? This is the video for you. So let's talk about Akia Bank, the abandoned houses in Japan. By the way, this is not my house. My house is not done renovation yet. I'm currently renting a space with a washitsu tatami room. So let's get to the topic today. So what is Akia Bank? Simply, it's just a government-run real estate listing of all the abandoned houses that are available throughout Japan. Right, so they are not banks. They are more recent houses that are built in the last 10 or 20 years. But uh, there are also a lot of uh, traditional kominka or machia houses that are built for over 100 or even 200 years old. There's even a half burned down house looking like this. It's extremely fun doing akia abandoned house hunting because you never know what you're going to get. Like a box of chocolate. Why are Akia abandoned houses so popular? Well, first one, obviously they are cheap. Some are even for free, but I personally, I don't recommend those ones just because that means there are a lot of money and effort that you have to put in before you can actually uh, use those houses. But there are also gems like these Kominka or Machia houses that are under 5 million yen and plus a lot of the cities, they offer subsidies for you to fix, uh, renovate the house. It's unfortunate that some of them require you to actually move into the city and into the house. So if you want to keep the house as a vacation house or a home when you visit, uh, the, the likelihood for you to get uh, such subsidies a bit lower. However, here's the catch. There is no one central website uh, or system run by the government that uh, has all the available listing of Akia properties all over Japan. So that means each of the municipal, they have their own Akia Bank website and you have to find them one by one. It's not a big deal if you only focus on one or two area that you really want to look for. But if you're just kind of looking over Kominka, Machia houses all over Japan, it is terribly difficult to do. So good luck with that. There are a few exceptions of uh, websites run by bigger companies, for example, at home or homes that they have the listing of the Akia properties, but uh, I don't recommend them again, just because they're usually out of date. Plus everything is in Japanese. <sighs> okay, so let's talk about my experience. So while I haven't actually bought a property from the Akia Bank myself. And I have been in touch with several of the Akia Bank uh, cities. It's a complete mess. What I mean by mess is that uh, it's all over the place. There are some really good Akia Banks and there are some really bad ones in terms of how the website is made, how much information is available on the website and how helpful and how fast the the representative. I have been in contact with one of the Akia Bank and it's really ridiculous that uh, I couldn't even ask them questions before I submit a lot of the documents. I have to send them my uh, residence uh, certification, uh, Jimmy Hill. Even the residence card for myself is not enough. I have to send the ones for my family members, uh, for example, my wife, my daughters, uh, before they will even start uh, answering questions about uh, the properties. So I'm just going to uh, look at some of the websites from the different municipals and just show you how uh, different they are. So the first one I'm going to look at is uh, Nagahama city of Shiga prefecture. So if you go through the pages, everything looks nice. And this is a good example of uh, uh, Gaiju, which means um, the city uh, asked somebody from a company from outside of the city to actually make a site for their Akia Bank. And uh, you can tell this is, is a very beautifully designed web page. Um, then you can just go click in the property page. Uh, they have pictures, but uh, you can see most of them only have like uh, one or two pictures. And um, when you click inside, there is no price. They don't tell you the price of these properties until you contact them and ask for it. So I actually have uh, been in touch with the staff of the Nakahama city. And then uh, here is the PDF file they sent me. 
So there's more information, for example, like the lens size, uh, what the, you should be aware of in terms of the um, regulations of this land. Again, there is no price. Okay, so the second one is uh, Kaga City and Komatsu City of Ishigawa Prefecture. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you one by one, but uh, these two are the example of really horribly made uh, Akia Bank websites by the city. Take a look at these photos from uh, Komatsu or Kaga City. Are we even in the same 2021? Like, how do you even get cameras to get take this kind of photo nowadays? Like, you have to adjust the setting to, to, to show the colors like this. It's not natural. Jeez. Okay, now I'm going to show you a really nice one in Takacho of Hyoko Prefecture. Okay, Takacho of Hyoko Prefecture. Definitely the most professional looking out of three Akia banks that I showed you. Uh, here's a property, a coming cup house. That's a uh, 36.8 million yen. It has all the information you need to see a property. And then the photos look pretty decent. Uh, and then here is the subsidies that are offered by Takacho for buying the house or moving into the community here. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter how good or bad the, the websites are for the Akia banks. Generally speaking for me, it's really fun for me to uh, look for Akias over Japan. It's almost like a treasure hunting for me because there are a lot of really interesting uh, old houses there available all over Japan. And it's just a shame that they're not being uh, discovered just because uh, the website sucks and then um, the cities are they're not putting enough effort to uh, uh, deliver more of the information uh, about these Akia properties. So one thing somebody is probably going to ask, can foreigners who are not even living in Japan buy these Akia properties? And the answer is a big yes, you can buy these properties. It doesn't matter where you are, you can buy them. The only, the only difficult thing about buying these properties, if you're not in Japan, you don't have a PR, is that uh, you're most likely not going to get a loan or housing loan to buy these properties. Um, but if you have cash, it's pretty much the same. You just buy them out of your pocket directly. Uh, it's a sunny day. It's warm in this room, which is quite rare for a uh, Machia house. So. I'm glad I picked here.